and uh, headed for Greenleaf State Park. Greenleaf is a really cool park. There's a, a fairly small little lake and that uh, these cabins uh, look over and it's uh, great views, great hiking trails. There's uh, RV camping, uh, primitive camping, nature center. It's a really uh, nice place to, uh, to just hang out for a weekend. Steve, this is a beautiful park and these Thank cabins you. are just <laughs> something else, man. How, how old are these? Well, the cabins were built WPA, Work Progress Administration, back in the oh, Depression days, right. back in the 30s, 36 and 37. But they built, originally they built 10 cabins, and those are the ones that we're standing in front of now. Okay. And then they uh, they later built some other cabins. There's, there's four cabins down at the end, cabins one through four, and there's some discussion about who built them. Oh, okay. okay some people say that the... Uh, the POWs, the Germans, they are Camp Gruber borders us on the north. Right. Just right, just right, halfway up that So hill. there were World War II prisoners of war mm -hmm. there at Gruber. Yes, sir. And they worked on some of these also. Well, or some people say. It's I, alleged. It's, it's really interesting because I'll get some people that are really adamant say, oh, it was definitely built by the Germans. Uh huh. And then somebody else, you know, a different time, just as adamantly say, no, they were not built by the Germans. Now, in addition to the, the cabins here, I, I understand there's a lot more WPA structures here at the park. Yes, sir. We've got the what we call the lodge, the Greenleaf Lodge, and it's okay. built on a on a hill just back behind us, and it's got a beautiful view of the lake. But it's a big building, and when they built it, it was kind of a night spot. And then during World War II, it became an officers' club. I see. And then after the war was over, it went back to being kind of a night spot, a restaurant. And now over the years, it's developed where it's kind of like a group camp. Now I notice uh, uh, accessibility is always an issue. And I notice like, like the one behind us, for example, has handrails to make it easier for folks in a wheelchair or something to get in. But I understand here at Greenleaf, you've got something even more special than that for the handicapped uh, if they want to come visit the lake. Tell me about that. Okay, back in 1994, there was a group called the Telephone Pioneers of America, and there were retired folks from different telephone companies who wanted to do something nice for the park. Oh, okay. So what they decided to do was to build this cabin. Right. And the unique thing about it, it's, a, it's like you said, or alluded to, it's a handicapped accessible cabin. It's got mm -hmm. a hospital bed in it, everything's wheelchair accessible. It's got its own private fishing dock that's wheelchair accessible. And it's a beautiful cabin inside now. It stays rented just about all the time. Right, right. <laughs> well, we appreciate it, Steve. Thanks a lot for well, visiting with us and showing us around Greenleaf State Welcome. Park. Welcome. The more people, the better. <laughs> Good deal. Well, we'll see what we can do about that. All right. <laughs>